Hi guys, my name is Caesar, and in this video I will show you how to use Time Offset inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Time Offset is one of the most useful resources for motion graphics, so let's start. We are here in Fusion, so let's talk about Time Offset. Depending on your project needs, you can use one or another approach to achieve the result that you are looking for. For this tutorial, I will work with two situations. One, when we need to offset the same element, and two, when we need to offset different elements, like this one. Let's take a look at a very basic time offset approach. And this is not the best approach, but I want to show you. Here I have three elements that are the same, and I have a simple animation. To offset this animation, I will copy and paste this transform node that contains the animation, Select all the three nodes and click on keyframes. And here I can manually offset this element, but this is not the best approach for the situation, so let's make this better. When we need to adjust the same element, instead of duplicating, copying and pasting and manually adjusting all the keyframes, we can use a duplicate node that is much more efficient. So to add a duplicate node, click on the transform node that contains your animation and press Ctrl spacebar or command and type duplicate. Select and add the duplicate node. Here we can set the number of copies and adjust the position. Now we have our elements animated without copy and paste any keyframe. To offset, all that we need to do is go to time offset and type minus 3. And now we have our animation with time offset. Very simple and clean. So that way we can change our time offset or even adjust the animation without worrying about copy and paste keyframes. Also, we can use the same setup to animate a test. So just take some test and connect on the transform node. If we need to make any adjustment to our animation, all we need to do is go to the spline and make the adjustment. We can also use the same setup to connect an image, which is amazing for motion graphs, and we can explore a lot of different animations and options. Now, let's take a look at option 2, when we need to animate and offset different elements. Again, I don't want to copy and paste keyframes, so I will use an expression. Expressions are a powerful tool inside Fusion, and very handy for motion graphics. Before starting, let's take a look at how I prepare and import this file. This is a PSD file with layers, and I have all my elements here in Affinity Designer, and each layer has a name. So I will select everything, go to Export, PSD, Selection Only, and save it. If you are using Photoshop, just save as PSD, and make sure that we have a layer selected. Here in Fusion, go to Fusion, Import, PSD, select your file, and here we are. Ok, let's take a look again. I have a transfer node that I renamed New, which I use to control the global position and global animation in case I need it, and I have an individual transfer node for each layer, or in this case, nodes. I will show you now, step by step, how to set up and animate this. So let's go. I will delete all my transform nodes so you can see how I did it. I will click on View Fire and select two monitors to make your job more comfortable. First, we need to add a transform node to each element. So let's do it. Now I will use Monitor 1 to adjust the pivot point. In this case, I will animate the size, so I will put the pivot point or anchor point on the bottom. And I will do the same for our elements. For the 10, I will put the pivot point just on the top. 
Now, basically, we are ready to animate and connect everything with expressions. To make this setup even better, I will create a custom tool to control the time offset. I will use Transform tool to control everything. So, right click on Transform tool and select Edit Controls. Let's create a new control. Change the name to Time Offset and let's insert this new control on our control page. The type will be slider control. Select integer and set the range to 0 to 10. Now this node is ready, so let's create an animation. Now all we need to do is to connect all elements using an expression. So select transform tree and in the inspector right click on size and select expression. The expression will be transform2, that is the reference, get value, size, which is the parameter that we animated, time minus transform2 dot time offset. In this case this is the custom tool. Now select the expression, copy, and let's do the same for transform4. Right click on size, expression, and paste. Here we just need to change the reference, in this case will be transform3. And let's repeat the process for all elements, always change the reference to the previous node. Ok, so now our setup is ready and working, so let's click on transform2 and add a time offset and let's play with different values. So, using this setup, we can control the time offset and make any adjustment without worrying about copy and paste keyframes. Another great tool in Fusion is the versions. So, click on the versions icon on the top, go to number 2 and adjust the spline. This is amazing, because now we can have different animations and, and different time offset just using the same node. Well, we are done, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like it, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or questions about this video. So thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!